Okay, Virgo. We'll just do a quick smudge to alleviate the negative energy. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general reading for the sign of Virgo. If you have Virgo anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Virgo. What would you like Virgo to know or be aware of during this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for Virgo. Virgo, if this is your first time tuning in, do you know that this top row here, we look at your uh, public life, your professional life, um, maybe what you do for work or for business, how you are viewed in the public or the energy that is surrounding your public self. And then the second row here is your private life, your home life, your personal life. Um, the energy surrounding your home, family, friends, loved ones, potential love interest. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Virgo. And then this last row of Virgo is final thoughts, final messages. What it is that Spirit would like you to take away from this reading. Thank you, Spirit. One more card for the sign of Virgo. Let's do that card right there. Perfect. And the foundation the basis of this reading is the Queen of Swords finding, rising above our circumstances, rising out of our circumstances, cutting the ties that bind us, finding our freedom. And that is driven by the Temperance card. And I love that that is driven by the Temperance card. The Temperance card is really um, the alchemy card, the practice of alchemy. It's creating something from nothing, um, using the unseen to bring into the physical. And let's see how that plays in to the rest of your reading this week. Virgo, we start off with the hangman. The hangman is, well, the hangman is on the tree of woe. What we don't always know or what we don't always interpret is that that was a choice. If we look closer at that hangman, we can see that he has hung himself on the tree of woe in order to gain enlightenment. And that is followed by the tower card, which is a dramatic change, a sudden change, a change that shifts our reality, a change that shifts our perspective. The Five of Wands, or excuse me, the Five of Cups. Why did I say the Five of Wands? But we do have the Five here. And we have the Five. We do have a lot of Fives. And so Fives really speak to change. Change, change, change. There's a lot of change, a lot of movement in your public life, a lot of movement in your professional life. But this is a turning point a turning point where you're being a little bit hesitant to move forward. There's been chaos. There's not a chaos of words, a confusion of words, a misunderstanding of words, a play on words.
perhaps you've been waiting to hear news You've been waiting to hear back on something. There's some news or some information that you've been waiting to hear back on. And you are going to hear a reply. You're going to receive a reply. Maybe this is in regards to a court case, um, in regards to a settlement of some kind. That it has taken a long time to get to this point. And because it's taken such a long time to get to this pivotal point, now that you're receiving the answer or now that you're receiving the clarity that you would like, you're having a difficult time moving on. You're having a difficult time actually seeing what is in your present. You're looking back, looking back at the past, looking back at the words, and looking back at the actions, and maybe even a, feeling a little bit defeated. But now that you've heard the answer or have found the answer, have found the clarity, you can cut the ties with the past and move forward. This situation really was all brought about in order to help you find your, your enlightenment or to help you connect on a deeper level. This situation was brought about for the tower moment, for that change, that shift in our perspective. Team People have left your life or this situation has changed so new people can come in. The new people that come in are going to be the people that want to work with you, the people that you want to surround yourself with. I think that this situation really has forced you to go beyond your comfort zone, um, forced you to look beyond, forced you to look in different areas. And now is your time to network. Now is your time to build a team. You know, Virgo, networking is your superpower. Of all of the zodiac signs, you know, the Virgo, you are the networker. You can connect the dots. You can connect people. You can bring people together and form a team that you can work well with. And I think now you're going to be in the spotlight or you're going to be in the position where you're asked to network, asked, being asked to step out of your comfort zone and pull in or attract or draw the people that you would like on your team and the people that would like to work with you. Break free of the past. And then we have the Hermit card. Frozen in time. Many times the Four of Wands can 
indicate a marriage or a new person coming in? The King of Cups, no man is an island unto himself, being guarded of our emotions and slow to appreciate. Something has caused our heart to close. Virgo, an open heart begins with an open mind. The best way to open our minds is with open communication with people that are different from us. And when we open ourselves up to um, different situations, um, different lifestyles, and we share an open and honest conversations, that is when we grow. And when we have our beliefs questioned, that is also when we grow. When our beliefs are being questioned, it is important that we don't become overly defensive, that we keep an open mind and know and accept that is just another point of view. That is not our truth, but that can most definitely be someone else's truth. And when we are sharing and communicating openly, it's important that we stay open to the possibilities and not deal in absolutes. I don't know if you've been dealing with in absolutes or if someone around you has been dealing in absolutes. But we need to cut the ties with dealing with absolutes in order to create. And that is followed here in your final row by the Five of Pentacles. Missed opportunities. The devil, worldly things, worldly possessions. The end passion, the hard work, there is there is a painful relationship. There are some patterns and some limiting beliefs, emotions that you have pushed aside are really coming to the surface, are really starting to bubble up. It is time, Virgo, to confront this situation head on in order for you to be able to move forward. One of the best chants that I like to use or incorporate into my routine is really simple. It's the OM. Just OM. And really just practice that for 
even three or four minutes and really feel the vibration and really feel it breaking free some of those negative thought patterns, some of those negative energies. And that's the message that I have for the sign of Virgo. Thank you, Virgo. You have a blessed week.